Hello, everybody. Welcome to Pearls of Wisdom. Today it's with Katerina and. No one. <laughs> <laughs> no one's crying. No. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so today we want to talk about what is our life's mission. So please ask your questions. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, actually, uh, is our life mission to complete the unfinished business from past life? Um, this is one part of it, definitely. But uh, it is on much more. The life mission in generally in every life we had is to experience something more, to move on through more experience and to rise our consciousness. Because the moment when we incarnate into this 3D plane, it is like it's you can imagine like putting on a diving suit and having the bottle and everything and going down. So we are much more heavy down there. We cannot. We see the sunlight a little bit through the water, but we cannot see the real sunlight. And in a way, it's like this when we dive into this physical body. A lot of our spiritual perception is gone. And the reason why we choose that is that we don't have the experience on a higher level that time does not exist in, in the perception that we know everything. So we come here for an experience. Okay. And of course, part of our life mission is definitely to clear the karma from a past life that in a very neutral way is like to harvest the crop that we've planted before and have not harvested yet. Because I don't like so much that karma is only connected with bad stuff. Karma is also good things. You have also good seeds. And it's not just, maybe in a past life, you have uh, wanted to become um, an artist, say a, a musician. And you have learned to play instrument, you have um, educated your voice and a lot of things done already. Um, understand the scale, the geometry of sound or whatever, but you could not complete it. Now in this life, maybe somebody come back to complete that. And this is what we also call genius because this person has in a previous life already done the, all the prerequisite to jump up very high and very fast. Nothing is given to us just like that. Everything what we have, we have worked on it before. So the life mission is in one time is to complete the karma, uh, the karmic lessons. Mm -hmm. And uh, but each lifetime has a new lesson or several new experiences and lessons at the same time. Mm -hmm. But why do we um, don't aware that we have a life mission? Well, see, that's the same what I said when I said diving into this suit, diving into this physical body suit, because we, we are in a very low consciousness compared to what we are when we are out of this body. Mm -hmm. Now, there are mainly several reasons for this. First of all, if you would take everything with you know everything you would not be able to function here there will be way too much uh, okay. because in this limited consciousness that we are we have to have a certain amount of things that we can go through but all of it would be impossible so we agree to take certain things with us now, mm -hmm. our soul has already had several personalities living on the planet, and we choose experiences from each of those that we bring into this lifetime. So 
you might have to, to get back to the musician skills. You might have already all the musician skills and you done complete, no more music, this is fine. Now you want to go into science, into say rocket science or whatever. Mm -hmm. So in this lifetime, you start a complete new project. Okay. But this you will know because see, Suchata, this is the thing that we have to drive to do. We know, even if it's not conscious, but for example, when you are a young child and you read an article about space programs, and this is, wow, that's so fascinating, that's what I want to do. And, and if this is your, your mission that you have chosen, you will never forget it. You just go this path till you're there. But you will also maybe be excited to become a pilot or, be, or to become a nurse or whatever, but that doesn't really hold on. Mm -hmm. Unless you just go for the paycheck, what many people do today, and they don't go with their life missions, they go with the paycheck. <laughs> and these people are usually not very happy people because they waste most of their day to do something what they in fact don't really want to do or like to do. What we work with should be, it, it's more even than a hobby. It should be that what fascinates us, that what we want to know, that there is that deep, deep inside longing. Mm. That's what I want to dive into. Or that what make you happy. Mm. And mm. all, all the rest we leave out for this lifetime because it's like a special window that we are inside and we move within this window during this lifetime. And once we leave the body, it opens up again to everything. We have the overview of all our past lives of everything, and then we can look at it. Mm. Okay, so uh, just keep the example of being a musician. So yeah. you say that uh, for one person, maybe this life, he wants to be successful in being a professional musician. Does every soul need to accomplish the be to being a musician? No, to... that's what mm -hmm. you choose. Um, and see, the thing is, you choose before you incarnate, because okay. you remember from the, our horoscope, the moment that the hour that we are born to look into that hour, that give us all the quality that we need, because this is the kind of, we are embossed, it's like imprinted with that stamp of our natal chart in this lifetime. Mm -hmm. And you can also now imagine if somebody believe in a in a chart that is not really right. It's also when the birth time is not right or whatever. But also here we have Western astrology versus real constellations. If you have a blueprint in a wrong way interpreted and understood, mm -hmm. you don't really live your life. Mm -hmm. And you choose, that does not mean that every soul has to do everything. You're absolutely free to choose what you want to reach slowly, the higher consciousness to go back home, to go back into higher dimensions. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter what you do. It matters how you do it. Mm -hmm. So uh, in one lifetime, I mean, uh, in, in this lifetime, do I have uh, two life mission or just only one life mission? You have several. But oh, I mean, yeah. when, when you look at the MC up there, it shows where you're heading. So for, mm -hmm. first of all, you might have your own personal karma that you want to redeem. That means that in this lifetime, you know, we are in a special lifetime in this transition in a new paradigm. It might be more intense than other lifetimes. Like when you think back hundreds or thousands of years when we did not have much um, 
electronic things or anything like that to, to be occupied, life was much slower. So a lifetime um, was probably more simple than it is now. Mm -hmm. Now we have to do more, we have to learn more. There is way too much around us and it's more difficult to focus. So it means that if I contemplate and realize that uh, I uh, uh, eager to learn about the, I want to be the architect. Mm -hmm. And also I contemplate that I have to do like a, in the spiritual world, can I do like a parallel? Or, or Absolutely. Something. Yeah. Because these things are going parallel. And that's what I just now, okay, you want to become an architect, that is going to be your profession. But at mm -hmm. the same time, you have something we call hobbies. And you might have also another karma aspect that you have agreement with other people. Mm -hmm. that you meet in your life, that you help them, that you support them, or they help you, they support you. So this is another aspect. So we have your personal karma, we have this kind of karma, the agreement with other people that are in your life. And then you have this life task. So if you choose to become an architect, for example, you still can, when you go to school, learn to play an instrument or to sing or whatever, and keep that as a hobby. You can mm -hmm. learn to play the piano. You have a piano at home. And when you come home, you can play the whatever instrument or whatever you do to relax. And mm -hmm. in addition, there is another thing. We also have physical activity. So you might have, you might be a footballer. So you mm -hmm. might go to train football or hiking or swimming or whatever. So there are several layers that we go through. This is mm -hmm. not just one thing. And all of, all of them together, they balance us. So for example, if you understand what an architect is doing, it is about harmony in a building. Mm -hmm. And the same is in music, is harmony of sound. Mm -hmm. And once you understand that the harmony in music, in sound and harmony in building, these are the same things. So you bring in all the, even like in sport, the harmony is like, even in running, that you come and run in the same nice rhythm. It's everything about coming into harmony and into balance. And you can use many things to, to win your life to get there. So in talking about this, uh, the soul, the, the divine us also have mission. Yes. So it will be like the soul mission and the life mission. Okay. It's two separate topics? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's also, it's all intertwined, you know? It's like, you remember these uh, puppets, uh, the, the very famous one are the babushkas from Russia. You have a big one, you open it's a small one and the smaller ah. one. And that's the same story. In a way, we can say the higher self or the soul or whatever. These are aspects of our being. And me in the physical body, I'm kind of the smallest of the puppets inside. Mm -hmm. And of course, our soul mission is also once we have decided to incarnate in a 3D dimension, the soul mission is also to help us all the time to be connected with us as the higher self, whatever you call it, to support us. And mm -hmm. the more incarnation we have in the past, the more real physical experience is in that soul knowledge that can channel through you. Give you a sample. Um, talking architect, you know that I told you that was my dream too, but I can <laughs> make it at that time, a girl uh -huh. anyway, get it. <laughs> so, well, we have both the Sun Uranus conjunction, so yeah, that yeah, goes yeah. in that direction, right? <laughs> so, I, I did a lot of work in my father's factory and I was drawing the plans and everything. So, I, I kind of understand a lot about it, but not the real, uh, the real things, what it means, like having so much weight here and here and all that kind of technical things. But when I built my house, my first house in Nangrem, 
that I really built from the scratch, designed myself and everything. I didn't have an architect or anybody helping me. I just had workers. So what I did, I went like, for example, they come, how should we do this? And I made mistakes, believe me, I made mistakes, but it was good. But very often I, I ask my upstairs team and I saw pictures. Sometimes they came in the middle of the night and I had to get up and draw them or I remember in the morning I make a drawing and give to the workers do like this. And very often they were kind of surprised that how the hell does she know, you know, kind of, it was a really funny experience. But um, see, my soul has obviously already an architect experience. So I was not um, able to be an architect in this life because I've had that before. So I, you don't go into repetition. So it, it was not allowed for me this time. Mm -hmm. But I could more or less um, ask for details of what I need to do and they show me and I could draw it out, really saw very, very clear pictures. So this is about the soul mission. The soul mission has all the memories of all our past lives mm -hmm. to channel to us in case we need that. And the soul mission is always above our human mission. Our human mission is just a part of the whole. So in each lifetime, you add like a puzzle in each lifetime you put the piece or several pieces of puzzle back until that puzzle is whole again so for the life mission the human mission it means that uh, the soul hasn't accomplished this topic yet mostly or yes in uh -huh. the soul i mean in a physical body you have mm -hmm. not had that experience yet okay or not finished yet or, or not finished exactly so if you have started something but not finished you maybe go back one two three lifetime to bring this to perfection and mm -hmm. mm. um, um, uh, for example you say that you already uh, have a, a architect in the past life i mean you already finished it but um, in this lifetime, uh, can you, I mean, can you recognize it? I, uh, mean, I how, okay, how, okay. How yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. you, I did many years uh, regression therapy, helping people to see past lives and I know several of mine, but I haven't seen the architect life. <laughs> but it could also be that this is um, a friend of mine who was an architect who, who my soul asked and give me the images but I have a feeling I have been building already but I did not pursue that mm -hmm. you could you could pursue it and figure it out if, if mm -hmm. this is a lifetime that you had mm -hmm. but I don't think this is well, at least for me, this lifetime, it was not so very important because, you know, the life in the moment for everybody, everybody living in this time is to reach a higher dimension, to shift into what we talk about the golden age, which means a higher consciousness level. So it means that the ascension. Yeah, you can yeah. exactly ascension moving into this higher timeline, and it doesn't really matter in what um, way you get there, you know, it doesn't mm -hmm. so much matter what you do, but as I said, how, how you do it. And mm -hmm. um, um, uh, is it harder, I mean, to, to go in the ascension and compare to the career path I mean the 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 path. The, the path uh, which one is more harder I mean well you know when you look at the old paradigm where we have been for many thousand years life was hardship it was really difficult it was like we had to struggle to survive we had to struggle to 
to earn our keep, to get food. To, it was so much struggle in this low dimension. Mm -hmm. So once we move in a higher dimension, everything will be easier. We will, we will receive much, much higher um, developed um, tech, technology also. Mm -hmm. like we saw already with communication. I ask you one thing. Look at how communication has progressed in the last years, how the computers and everything out there with the satellites and everything, this is just going up like that. But mm -hmm. why the hell do we still drive cars that have engines that were developed over hundred years ago and they're still the same? Uh, why yeah. the heck do we still have burn to burn fuel for these certain machines and cars and so on, which mm. would absolutely not be necessary. And that is part of the old paradigm. That's part of the elite controlling the people, holding them down and give them only that they just can survive. Oh, uh, yeah. So we have and a new technology. Yes, mm. and everybody who is moving into this higher timeline will be treated completely different life will be different it will be maybe a little bit similar as they talk in the moment from the negative new world order but this will be the positive new age just to use words no uh, that we share because we want to share we help each other because uh, that's our nature that's the goodness in our nature and not to suppress others. Mm -hmm. When we see somebody struggle, we help. We don't kick them as they mm -hmm. do now. Mm -hmm. So in this lifetime, we have a very, very, very special mission. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me say, uh, the physical hardship, um, it's kind of forced us to ascend in the mine am i understand correct yeah kind of you know it all goes together the physical hardship makes you to study harder to, to get more easy life and that's one of the things that you not choose a profession or something that you really maybe like to do but you step into um direction that is better for the paycheck mm -hmm. And you don't follow your true uh, soul path. And the soul path is to, to complete that part that other entities that have that are your past life have not yet completed. So mm -hmm. your whole focus become uh, just on this one life, what most people have, what do they want? What do you want in this lifetime? So most people, I want to have enough money. <laughs> yeah. I want to have a nice house. I want to have a, a car. I want to have a, a nice partner. I want to have sex. I want to have good food. You know, this is all limited to this one lifetime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how do we know what is our life mission? You know, inside. You know it. But from, from this life from this, like all the social, everything that's going around so fast. For us, I think we, we've been through and we are aware, but for others who still Monday. follow the mainstream, yeah. how can they observe? They or cannot. how can they, they cannot. be aware? No, they cannot. No, because look, if you are completely busy, Mm -hmm. in your brain waves you know mm -hmm. how meditation functions we go in an alpha state in a deeper in a slower brain wave. the whole social whatever is happening is this way so if you constantly are up here you cannot go down in the slower wave where you can observe mm -hmm. so people are constantly busy so they will not be able to reach 
that state of mind, the state of consciousness that they can access the purpose of their lives. This is why people get sick or have accidents to whoosh, we slow them down. And you can see that this is a moment when people change it, change their lives. Mm-hmm. Or even if in very crass situations, near death experiences, there are many, many also videos out there that people were dead and come back in the body and whoa, that mm-hmm. is changing their lives. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So most of the time, unfortunately, something very dramatic, something bad has to happen that people wake up. But when you look back, mm-hmm. this bad was so good because that's exactly what you needed. Mm-hmm. 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 So everybody who is incarnated in that moment wants a chance to ascend. And now it's in your free will. If you want to stay there in the very, very, very fast uh, states of consciousness that are just in your mind, or if you want to go deeper, dive into, if you can say it, that's the hard consciousness, you know. Remember, we talked about we have brain cells and we have heart brain cells. And the heart brain cells don't have the same frequency as the mind, but they also know. So once you use your heart for that knowledge, it will bring you to the purpose of your life. So we have to practice being quiet but see that's what's happening now now also with the whole world slowing down and with the whole challenge international that is happening that you are definitely challenged to rethink your life many people losing their job they suddenly have time what do you do with this time you fill it again with social gossip and bullshit or you do something for yourself that's the big question here Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we also said remember that first step to move into the positive consciousness you get to anger from anger into courage and then you move into the willingness to do something to change something so this is a step the world is going through now and you see the anger out there you see a lot of anger Mm-hmm. And you see courage. I was again today and I posted a couple of things about really courageous people standing up inside. This, uh, again, one lady from a vaccine thing. She stood up and she went to the Project Veritas and talked about what she knew. These people are now the heroes who are coming through the anger first, coming out the fear, oh, should I tell, should I not, I'm afraid, and then I'm getting so angry at the final point to have the courage to be willing to stand up. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful to see, you know? Mm-hmm. Yes. But for some uh, life experience that I'm been heard of, uh, there will be the word said that if you fail the one test, the next will be harder. Why would it have to be harder? <laughs> if not fail- necessarily, not necessarily. It can be, but you know, the more something you resist, mm-hmm. the more difficult it gets. Mm-hmm. Because, like for example, um, if you have somebody you don't like very much. It's very difficult to say something to them. And the more you you resist that person, the more difficult it gets to approach. So if you just have like you, you meet somebody and you have to deal with that person for whatever reason, but you don't like the person. Okay, so what can I do? Okay, I, I push that aside now and I focus just on the thing I need to talk to that person and nothing else. But if you go into emotion, then it becomes more and more and more and more difficult. So it's not that the next test 
is more difficult. It is because your resistance becomes bigger. So uh -huh. it seems to be more difficult. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. <laughs> because of us. <laughs> you created yourself. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Understand. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what else? Omission. I think we've gone through the. Oh, question. you said, does the older soul have a harder life? That was a topic uh, that you also. Yeah. Do old souls and young souls have the same mission? Um, let's put it that way. We've been talking also at one point that. At one point, this project um, to incarnate in here was created. The soul itself is forever. Our, I think our brain and our way of thinking cannot comprehend the non-linearity, what, what really is. Once we still think linear in time, this is how our brain functions. But in the beginning, it was not like that. When we still were on higher consciousness and when we created this experiment, and old souls, the very old souls, that very beginning, these are the ones who have started the project. And they have been here many, 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 many times. So they have also uh, souls jumping on the wagon during many, many, many times. You know, here comes a group in, here comes a group in. And uh, so the very old souls that are here have the most experience. The younger the soul, the less experience you have. But it does not refine that you are a good or a bad human being or that you have a more difficult or a more easy life. Mm -hmm. But it tends that an older soul has a more difficult life. <laughs> they know too much. <laughs> <laughs> you can say like that. Or... Um, they are exposed, they have been exposed to so much already that sometimes it is more difficult. Um, oh. You know, to observe, like just when you are a grown up, just in one lifetime, you're a grown up and you have a child and you watch the child making mistakes, mistakes that you have made too, but you try to, uh, no, you don't have to burn the fingers like I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no way they have to burn their fingers because it's part mm -hmm. of the experience mm -hmm. so the older souls they can help the younger souls to understand better but we cannot take away your experience okay. and younger souls sometimes they go much much faster through experience into a higher consciousness because they don't have so much heavy burden like some older souls. But even here in general, you cannot just say this is like that and they have an easier life, a harder life. It depends very much on the personality. It depends very much on the kind of experience you already had in the past. Mm -hmm. But there are definitely new souls here that are just here to bring in higher energy to help us to transition better. Mm -hmm. And you can see that even a lot of kids, like they call autistic or, or like they are, have some kind of not normal, not inside the box of the norm that bring in a complete different energy, sometimes handicapped children to force the parents and the surrounding to rethink the purpose of life through oh. an experience like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So mm -hmm. you just receive again to go back to the life purpose. Your soul makes sure that everything um, that you need to experience is coming along your way. That means that the soul has. A connection with other souls and make sure that the right people meet, meet each other, that you have the experience 
that you have signed up for. So this is absolutely genius how these coincidences happen that you meet mm -hmm. somebody. Mm -hmm. How is it possible that I meet somebody uh, like even here, like a Swiss uh, person I met, but we had like whoosh, it came together because we had similar interests. So this mm -hmm. was like a magnet. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. how is it possible that you move away from whatever, um, like you two meet, you know, it's, it's, how is it possible that your parents been at the same place or even kids they meet in school they go together their whole lifetime it is all an arrangement there's nothing coincident <laughs> so our after team is talking together yeah because once you understand that nothing is just like coincidence life makes sense you know a lot of people don't see the reason and the uh, it doesn't make sense at all what I'm doing here. You know, I hear that often, but it does make sense once you see the bigger picture and you see these puzzle pieces that in even in one lifetime you put back maybe many puzzle pieces into the puzzle, depending how open you are for the soul mission, how how um how strong you're connected with your heart, with your soul, that you receive instruction of what to do. Yeah. I think we cover, we cover all. Yeah. Yeah, we gone through all the questions that I send you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I think, um, what should we do? One more question. You want to ask another question? They want to. You can ask. Okay. We, yeah. Okay. Otherwise, we do next time. <laughs> so, 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 uh, one, one more question about the, the, uh, if we finish the, all the mission and then what next? When we learn. Well, everything. then we leave the body. Very simple. So we got, Go to the Nirvana. Is, is that well, you can say like this, and uh, I don't believe that everybody's uh, purpose is to go to Nirvana, or um, because I I don't want to go there. It's way too boring. So uh, for me, it's like once I finish that mission here, um, I might go to another planet, or I might go to mm -hmm. another whatever world and do more, like in other dimensions other possibilities i don't think that my journey is finished and it was in the spiritual kind of circles also in the beginning 40 years ago oh yes i want to go nirvana blah 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 That's when i think about it no i don't want to go there i have still a lot of energy in me and i still want to do something so i'm not ready to just like be <laughs> <laughs> so when I finish a mission and you finish a mission here, wherever, uh, you choose another one. You yeah. might have a break, like a holiday in between. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you choose another mission. And also, if I finish uh, my mission with, with someone. Yes. So we can see again in the, in the next life or... Or, yeah, or you can. can, but it's also like, for example, a couple is together and you finish mm -hmm. your mission. That is the moment when you start to struggle together if you still stay together. I personally believe that in this lifetime, especially now, and I'm not talking about 100, 200 years ago, but now when everything goes so fast that not many couples are meant to be together a whole lifetime. We come together to experience things, to, to go through something. And then we move on to a new experience also here. But we have to be at the point that it's balanced. And if a, a relationship is breaking apart or you leave each other you remain friends and this is not happening with fight and and whatever you still stay close you still uh, appreciate each other mm -hmm. but you cannot control um 
how it's happening and it, then if people are staying together in in the quarrel yeah because the fire is out mm. then it's better to move on because there might be two other people out there waiting for you and your mm. partner and mm. if you are not free you cannot move on so it has but it has to be for both of you it cannot be just one you have to find out what's happening mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay <laughs> okay. quite clear <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. because if you don't finish the business with a partner it, it, this again it comes back mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's it's whatever unfinished business you leave behind what is not balanced is coming back so work on it to balance it and then it can go away and then something new comes in and you work again up your way till it's balanced and finished and then it can go and something new comes up yeah mm -hmm. it's actually very logical we see in nature mm -hmm. it's exactly like nature everything mm -hmm. You know, you see it a little bit better in the northern hemisphere where they have winter, how the circles are going, but also here we can see it. Mm -hmm. Everything has a beginning and has an end, which is in a dimension like ours here and not in the infinity. <laughs> it's like a cycle. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so in this case, we end for now. Thank you very much for your question. Thank yes. you so much for your answer. <laughs> I <hope you> do. <laughs> okay, and uh, everybody watching, thank you very much for watching and please like and share our video and we hope to see you soon again. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.